Hi guys, namaste. Thanks for joining me. I thought I would just come on and do a quick higher vibe video. My last few ones have been a little bit um, more serious. And honestly, I'm really grateful because I've had people reach out to me uh, going through similar things and um, I have Merlin um, not in camp this week so we're doing a little bit more stuff as a family and that's been taking up a lot of my time though I really wish that I could talk have more time to talk to more of you but um, anyway the time will come <laughs> for now I wanted to just put out a quick video to you know obviously say every morning we have the choice to decide how our day is going to be and uh, i really want to encourage everyone to opt for positivity um, right away the minute your eyes open don't let yourself go to dwelling don't let yourself go to stress um, or the myriad things that you have to do right away go to gratitude that you woke up and set your intention to have a good day right away set your intention to be high vibe and you'll get through whatever the day has to throw at you and in the end everything's going to be okay anyway actually one of our favorite quotes is um if it is not okay or no what is it in the end everything will be okay and if it is not okay it is not yet the end <laughs> Um, but high vibrations, 432 hertz, we have Bob Marley and everything's going to be all right and I'm dedicating this to a couple girlfriends that I'm just sending my love and light to and hope that I get to see you soon. I'm going to be back um, to our neck of the woods in a couple weeks and I'd love to catch up. And even though I am not drinking alcohol, I'm still fun. <laughs> A little reminder and I would actually really like to get together and I think it's time that we all like I've been saying connect and give each other hope and for now let's just do a good practice a good early morning practice to everything's gonna be all right from Marley. So we like that starting on the left 45 degrees and circles.
effort, reverse. do the end like this, at least you can do the semi-bridge. Okay, don't tell me you can't. <sighs> and we'll just relax in the savasana for a minute. <sighs> Keeping our intention to have a good positive day. Staying our high vibrations and happiness, no matter what life throws at us. Stay peaceful in your core, in your heart. In your soul. <sighs> Stay true to you. <sighs> okay. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for watching. And if anything, I hope my videos aren't coming across as judgmental or too personal. I know I'm very outspoken and lately I keep getting approached by men giving me advice on my videos and trying to get me to actually stop them or do something different or telling me they're not good. And I just want to remind people that are trying to get out of oppression. Um, and that's, you know, anyone in a minority, especially um, in general, well, not especially, but women, um, coming out of abusive relationships or toxic relationships and um, working towards better communication and working towards honesty and not playing games and really getting to the truth will really help your soul feel better moving forward and want to be good to yourself. So I'm not judging anyone that's relying on their other ways of coping or really just, you know, young and having fun. <laughs> All I'm saying is um, to anyone that really is concerned about their health or even to all of the people that aren't, if we don't, I love this quote and I heard just saw it again recently, and everything happens for a reason. But if we don't make time for our health, we're going to be forced to make time for our illness. And this can put a burden on many people around us, and are definitely ourselves included. Don't wait for that to happen. Um, I hate to say this, but as a massage therapist, I just keep... Uh, I keep having clients and people that I know that aren't necessarily living the healthiest lives or having the best mentality. Um, a lot of men are in a lot of pain because they're not letting their emotions out. Um, well, you know, for lots of reasons, not just that. Who am I to say why? 
um, but it often shows up as back pain. And back pain can be very debilitating um, and can really make you feel um, defensive. Pain in general will make you feel defensive and if you're in pain most of the time, actually you're in a shell um, that's just going to be hardening over time unless you're going to deal with that pain. But if you're not, your shell um, is going to prevent you from connecting to people outside of you and you'll feel cut off, you just will. And this is actually going to perpetuate the feeling of pain. And so a lot of illness stems from our mental attitude. So try to keep your self up and always aiming towards positivity. And I know a lot of men have a lot of like feeling of the weight of the world on their shoulders or that they have to support the family or that everything is up to them. <laughs> My ex being one of those people, um, but he puts that on himself. A lot of men put that on themselves and they don't realize that other people are there to help them. And if we reach out for help, then we don't even understand the amount of support that can come to us. Like I've been receiving just through talking more honestly. I'm very grateful to that. Um, a lot of people don't want to show when they're feeling bad, but if they do, they'll actually realize that there's so much more support out there and they'll feel stronger and maybe actually lie down and do a Dr. Raleigh session or some stretching or some and I know a lot of men take good care of themselves too and still experience back pain. So, um, I'm a neighbor. Anyway, just please take care of yourselves. Love and light. Stay happy. And everything's going to be okay. High vibes.